Hello viewers, you are welcome to Story Tutors. I'm making this video specially for Neco Chemistry Practical, and that will be on titration, volumetric analysis. I've made another video on uh, sort analysis. You can go and check that after watching this video. So the likely question that is will be coming out for this Neco Chemistry Practical for this year. Okay, so under titration. A is a solution of tetrazosulfate 6 acid. B contains 4.50 gram of sodium triazocarbonate 4 in 750 cm cube of solution. The question goes forth. A put A into the burette and titrate it with 20.0 cm cube or 25.0 cm cube portion of B using methyl orange as indicator. Repeat the titration to obtain concordant theta values. Tabulate your reading and calculate the average volume of A used. B now. Roman figure 1. Write a balance equation of the reaction. Roman figure 2. From your balance equation, obtain the mole ratio. C. Calculate the concentration of Roman figure 1. B in grams per dm cube. B in most per dm cube. A in most per dm cube. And A in grams per dm cube. So D option there, problem number one. Calculate the number of hydrozonium ions which could be obtained from the result in A13 above. So number number two, calculate the volume of CO2 liberated in C2 above. So we are given the mass number of each ion there. So Roman number three, why do we use methyl ring instead of phenolphthalein as indicator? So these are this is the question that is likely to come out for this year NECO. So now let's go through it one after the other and let me solve it so i would like you to pay at a full attention if you are new to this channel subscribe because this channel is about mathematics physics and chemistry so that you can enjoy anything we dish out so subscribe like share with friends and press the notification bell so that anytime we release video like this you will be notified so let's take the questions one after the other from the question now we are to tabulate our results the question says tabulate your results and calculate the average volume of a used there are some things i would like to explain in this table you must not forget to put volume of pipette used very very compulsory most of our pipette is always 25.00 cmp you must put it don't forget to put unit please now check through this you can see that our rough title is a bit higher but this and this and this are the same I will encourage you to make your first, second, and third theta the same. And if you are using first and second theta, make it the same, please. Very, very important. Some teachers will tell you that you should not make them the same so that it will not look somehow. It, that's not true, please. Make them the same. The reason why you must make them the same is this. Look at the question. They say, repeat the titration to obtain concordant theta values. They don't care even if you do the titration 40 times until you get the same results, consistent and concordant. That is the same result. So you can get the same result, please. Make sure you put the same thing there. We don't penalize one mark. We don't penalize for that. I want you to put that in mind. Now, the question says, tabulate your result and calculate the average volume of A use. You have tabulated already. This is how to tabulate your result. I know you know that very well. So, so, so we have to say average volume of a used is equal to now 21.00 plus 21.00 if you are using two titans there's no problem and if you are using three you are also free so just make sure that anything you use you divide it by the number so this one will give us 21.00 centimeter cube now when we are marking what we always do is this the first thing you have here your first type type is correct we we mark it and put four marks when this is correct we mark it and put four marks making eight marks already okay now this averaging one mark if it is concordant and they are concordant okay concordant means they should not be more than each other by zero point plus or minus two zero now look at this this one now is also correct so eight plus two that's ten marks already there ten marks that's how we mark it so if you are correct on that that's it let's go to the next question question b we have got one Write a balance equation for the reaction. Now, we are very sure that the reaction is between H2SO4 and the weak, as, the weak base, which is Na2CO3. To give us this and this react together, we have Na2 
SO4 plus CO2 plus H2O. So we want to balance it now. Hydrogen is two here. Yeah. Let's check here. We have two hydrogen. Sulfur we have one. Sulfur is one. Sodium is two. Sodium is two. Carbon is one. It's also one here. Oxygen is three plus four. That's seven. So four plus three also that's seven. This is self-balanced. So it means this is one ratio one. That's the acid to base. And from this now we can check. Because if you can look at question one, we got two. Even if they didn't ask you the question, you must do it. They said from your balanced equation, obtain the more ratio. More ratio is very, very compulsory. And it always has marks every year. So you have to say Na ratio Nb is equal to 1 ratio 1. Very, very important. Very, very important. So let's go to C now. Question C. Question C says calculate the concentration of chromatic figure 1. B in grams per dm cube. B in grams per dm cube. How do you do that? So it means C Roman figure 1. What we just did now, please always remember to label correctly. This is B Roman figure 1, please. This is Roman figure 2. We have to label correctly to get our mark. So this is Roman figure 1. From the questions, if you look at the question very well, they've given us the gram per dm cube indirectly of sodium trisocarbonate 4. Because they said B contains 4.50 gram of sodium trisocarbonate 4 in 750 cm cube. From there, we can get our gram per dm cube. How do we do that? We have to say that 750 cm cube of Na2CO3 requires it requires 4.50 gram of the same NaCO2 NaCO3 sorry now we are to get this gram this is 4.5 gram in 750 cm cube we want to get the gram that we give that will be dissolved in 1000 cm cube recall that 1000 cm cube is the same thing as 1 dm cube okay so for us to have the same unit here we have to make it 1000 cm cube therefore 1000 cm cube of na2 co3 this will require now we have to cross multiply so 1000 multiplied by this 1000 multiplied by this times 4.50 divided by 750 mind you i'm putting 0 0.50 i did not say 4.5 because there is math for correct substitution so that you can get your correct substitution please don't forget that after the calculation this gives us six but this is dangerous you must not try six gram per dm cube every concentration must be in three significant figures you must not forget that so you have to put 0 0.00 so that it will be one two three three significant figures before you write your gram per dm cube during marking this expression we have a mark this we also have a mark okay so we have to be careful of that. So per dm cube, I love to use this method. So let's go to the next one. Roman figure two. See Roman figure two now. That's another question there. B in most per dm cube. Now since we have gotten gram per dm cube, let's go for a formula here. Concentration, okay, of B in most per dm cube is equal to concentration of B in grams per dm cube divided by the molar mass of that B in grams per mole. So what we have to do now is this. We are told to find the most per dm cube. We needed the gram per dm cube, which is what we have gotten here. And we also needed the molar mass. So what we have to do now is to calculate the molar mass. So it means now molar mass of B will be equal to, now since we know our B is Na2CO3, okay? And our Na from the question is 23. So 2 into 23 plus carbon is 12. Now, plus 60 times 3. So when we do the calculation all together, everything will give us 106. And that will be gram per mole. So we now go back to, please, you can see this also three significant figures. Please, there's a map for this, there's a map for this. So let's go for the substitution now. We know the answer for this now and this, we substitute. So it means to get our most per dm cube okay to get our most per dm cube that's b in most per dm cube what we have to do now is to put this here so 6.00 please don't write 6 you must substitute directly what we have here to get mark for substitution divided by the molar mass is 106 so this will give us 
0.0566 moles per dm cube. Mind you, I also made this one to be in three significant figures. One, two, three. You must be in three significant figures. So let's go to the next one. Roman figure three. We have to find concentration of A in moles per dm cube. C A V A over C B V B is equal to N A over N B. Mind you, our N is one and N B is one. So since what we are looking for is the C A concentration of the acid, we make that the solid of the formula. We do our cross multiplication. So this one goes up and this one comes. So we have C A B A. Our N B is one. So times one is equal to we have C B V B. Our N A is one times one. Make it C A the solid of the formula. We divide both sides by this. So it means we have C A is equal to C B V B times one divided by V A times one. There's mark for this also. So of the formula, there's one mark for solvent of the formula. And after solvent of the formula, we go for substitution. So there's also mark for correct substitution. So we have to substitute what we have correctly. And this is what we have 25.00, which is the volume of the base. Okay, divided by volume of acid is 21.00. So you can put times one, times one. So at the end of the day, our CA will be equal to 0 0.0674 most per dm cube if you check properly it is still three significant because one two three always make it that so correct so that on the formula correct substitution we have marked more issue before and correct uh, evaluation so let's go to roman figure four here yeah, we have to find a in grams per dm cube so roman figure four formula which is conk concentration of a in most per dm cube is equal to Concentration of A in grams per dm cube divided by the molar mass. Divided by the molar mass. So what we have to do here is that we have to look for this. So this should be our subject of the formula. So we do our cross multiplication. So this will be now we have concentration of A in grams per dm cube. We now be equal to this multiplied by this. So it means concentration of A. In moles per dm cube multiplied by molar mass. Okay. Now, concentration of A moles per dm cube, we have that already. Is here. So, what we just have to do now is to multiply by molar mass. And our molar mass, we have to get that. So, molar mass of A, which happens to be H2SO4. So, our hydrogen is 1. So, 2 into 1. Plus sulfur is 32 plus 16 times 4. Everything gives 98. You now put 0 0.0 gram per mole to make it three significant figures. Okay. So from there, we now slot it in into this place. So we have to have concentration of A in gram per dm cube is equal to concentration of A most per dm cube. We have it already. We have to slot it in. 0 0.0674 multiplied by the molar mass, what you just got now, 98.0, put 0 there. So the answer here will be 6.6052. Now you have to put this in three significant figure, 1, 2, 3. So that's 6.6, .6, this will be 1 now. Gram per dm cube. So that's the answer over there. So there will, there will be math for doing this and this. The remark for this correct substitution and the remark for evaluation. So the next thing we have to do now is to go to D. Question D, Roman figure one. It says that calculate the number of hydrozonium ion, which could be obtained from the result in one A Roman figure three above. Now, hydrozonium ion is gotten from the dissolution of acid. That's why we define acid. We say acid is a substance which, when dissolved in water, produces hydrogen ion. As the only positive ion, or produce hydrozonium ion as the only positive ion. So H2SO4, when dissolved in water, that's H2O, it must give us H3O plus. That is, hydrogen must have increased there. This deposits more hydrogen into the water to give us this. Now, plus SO4, 2 minus. The hydrogen has disappeared. So to balance that, we have two hydrogen, another two making four at this side. We have three here, so we have to make it even. Two times three, that's six. 
You have to put another two here. Okay. So sulfur is one. So oxygen is four plus another two. So that's balanced. So it means we have one ratio one, one ratio two, pardon, ratio two, ratio one. Now, since what we are concerned about is between this acid and the hydrozonium, so it means you are working with one ratio two. So what we have to do now is that we have to say one mole of H2SO4 okay, requires two moles of the hydrozonium, that's H3O+. Therefore, you know the most per DM cube of this already. You remember, for our acid, the most per DM cube for our acid, we got it at 0.0674, so we have to take that down here. So 0 0.0674 mole, mole of H2SO4. We give us, we have to cross multiply this, multiply this. So we have two times 0 0.0674. So this will give us 0 0.1348. So instead of 1348, we can call it 135. 135 mole of H3O plus. But mind you, it is the aeon. If you look at the questions, they calculate the number of hydrozonium aeon. So we have to use the Avogadro's constant to get the aeon. Because getting aeon, we have to use Avogadro's constant. So how do we go about that? So we have to say one mole of hydrozonium and one mole of any compound or any atom We give us 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 aeons now, aeons, because that's what we are looking for. So this moles give us aeon. So for us to now get, now we have to substitute this mole into what we have here. So that would be 0 0.135 mole, okay, of this. So when we have to do that, we cross multiply. So it means that we have 0 0.1348, oh, we have 135, we have to substitute the correct thing, please, okay times 6.02 times 10 to the power 23. So at the end of the day, the answer will now be 8.11 times 10 to the power 22 aeons, okay, of H30 plus. So that's the answer for that over there. Let's go to the question. Okay, we have D Roman figure 2. Calculate the volume of CO2 liberated. Now, this between the acid and this CO2, it is one ratio one. So, and we know the mole of acid that we have gotten from our calculation, which was our CE that we got the other time, which was 0 0.0674 moles. It means the same thing applies to this. It means this one will also be this. Okay? Because the mole can be related to each other. Now, to get the volume, the amount in mole N, okay, will be volume divided by molar volume. And molar volume for all gases, the molar volume for all gases is always equal to 22.4 dm cube. Okay? So for us now to get the volume, we needed the mole. So it means our volume will be equal to number of mole okay, times the molar volume. So it means the number of mole that we have here, 0 0.0674 multiplied by our molar volume is 22. 0.4 dm cube. So after multiplying that, anything we get here will be the volume. Okay, we be the volume in dm cube also because this is dm cube per mole, and this mode you cancel each other. So the answer will be in what in dm cube. So you can place your calculator and get that. Now the last question is the Roman three. Why do we use methyl orange instead of phenolphthalein as indicator? Okay. The neutralization reaction is between a strong acid, H2SO4, and a weak base, Na2CO3. So the suitable indicator are methyl orange or methyl red because they can strive and they can react in acidic medium. But phenolphthalein indicator is only suitable for reaction between weak acid and strong base. When weak acid and strong base react together, the medium will be basic, and that's why phenolphthalein strive. For this kind of reaction now, the medium is always acidic. So that's what happens over there. If it is strong acid and strong base, any of the three indicators are suitable. So you can subscribe to our channel to see more of this and to enjoy more. Thank you and God bless.